Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Transport Fever 2 Remote Edition. In the previous episode, we basically kind of got started on revamping the entirety of our form main, form main line track, as it's starting to become a little bit difficult to keep up with all the trains traveling on it at the same time. And hopefully in this episode, we'll finally get that whole project finished. Now, after getting this connected and allowing trains of water to go on this line, we now need to get started on focusing on fixing up some other parts of the network that's starting to basically become a bit of a bottleneck. Case in point, this junction right here. We need to get these four tracks to connect to here, but there's so many trains going on to this area, it's going to take a long time for it to basically be able to to be free in order to add those trains in. Hmm. Well, that's how you also need to get rid of these signals and place them in better ones. I will eventually make a, four, a special four-track connection onto this line to make it a lot easier for these freight trains to access the middle track and express passenger trains to access the outer tracks. But with the situation going on here, I think it's probably high time to get started on this revamp. Sure, services will have to be halted until this is all fixed up. But, it's for a good cause for my company, for the company. Let's get rid of those tracks. And these as well. And these. And the tracks for this section. eventually get started on revamping this four track line. Okay, first things first. The track will basically go through this area as it normally would, but then it will basically connect to this track here. Then it will build another connection there, and do the same connections on these. this. Hopefully there's no bump. No noticeable bump. That's good. But then I'll also have to do this. It'll be a bit of a four track stretch until this switch here. Until this pair of signals. And then basically doing this connection here. that in mind, now I need to set up a set of new signaling equipment over the new 4-track line. Let's see. need to do this as well. And then set up another four signal gantry on this section here. Setting the signals in the correct direction. Also replacing this signal with a double aspect. Now, trains could easily access the freight line from this without needing to basically go into the middle. Besides, these extra tracks could be useful for passenger service in a, in a future part of the century. 
because I might eventually set up a new passenger service. No, we'll travel on that section, on those outer lines. Speaking of which... Oh, right, those two tracks. So, let's see, we need to also connect them with this line and this line. That should basically fix that, though I need to modify this signal here. Let me see. Well, most of the freight trains are going on to this route. Let me see, is there... Wasn't there a crossover switch at one point? Let me see. There are freight trains that are going through here, but now with the new line installed, I can at least allow the trains to pipe past the mainline station. Let's see, Longhorn Brewery. That's over there. How is it not going in that direction? Hmm. I might have to have a look at the route. Let's see. It leaves the it leaves the farm the farm normally and travels along this four track line until it connects to there. Standard. Liquids of water. There it's going onto that track. I'll just probably have to wait and see on which trains use that line. But with that new four track main line, at least my freight trains will no longer have to get stuck. The war materials, that's a service that really needs to have a dedicated freight line. So it will go for this signal on the trip up, and then go for this signal on the return trip. Thus allowing the... Wait, what? Why is it not doing that? Oh, the signaling. I forgot about these signals, of course. There we go. Much better. Now, all of my freight trains that I need to go on this line will go and use this track. Though, freight train 6 d does not have a connection to fruit. How does it not have connection to fruit? I thought I basically fixed that track. Let's see. Oh, it might be because I removed some signaling. Yeah, the signals I use are kind of now out of date. Though, on the trip up, it will go through this signal. Then it will split off onto this track. And then, on the return trip, it will go for the same signal again on the other route on the way back. Along the river, over that loop, it finally threw another signal above this line for the return trip. And train TS, TS1A, that's going from the Longhorn Brewery to Longhorn Yard. Realize that that's that's not gonna do well with a freight. Train. I should have had thought about placing down a four-way switch. Well, it shouldn't be too difficult to modify this area of track for that new area. All right, that's taken care of. Now let's see. And I think we might all 
also delete this section of the rack and finally allow more clearance. Faster trains to access the station. Now for the freight trains. Let's see. If we do it like this, it should allow the freight trains easy access into the station. Yeah, like that. But now I also need to set up some a new crossover track here to allow access for both trains to go in and out of the station buy a brand new signaling. I'll then need to replace this. Too much curvature, what? Now I doesn't have curvature problems. And why did I place down a single aspect when it should be a double? Alright. Perfect. With all of this in mind, now all of my trains should start basically being a little more efficient with their movements. Hmm. I don't see any other problems going forward. All the signaling are just set to basically allow the trains to speed on through. And with the new road system built above the track, it'll allow some people to travel into or around the area with their cars. Not good for our business, but it's what people need, I guess. Now, there is an electric freight train that I'm still operating with these ancient GG1s, and these engines are kind of starting to show their age. I think it's high time they finally get replaced with something a little bit more modern. This General, this General Electric E60 has a lot more horsepower compared to the old GG1s. Which I would have to... Well, it doesn't have the much same amount of horsepower as those, but at least it does do its work. Speaking of which, uh, I need to check my town supply trains. Do I have any out-of-date electrics that I can replace? I can replace these two with one of the with a pair of these new GF6 GF6Cs. They have more horsepower compared to the double unit GE44s, which will be very beneficial on the electric freight operations. And the same will go for this pair right here. We'll add this, and add that, and move them right there, and... Yep, that should do it. Let's see, any other services that have electric power that I need to replace? This one could be replaced, it's kind of getting old. Although, in reality, this service is being handled by at least one of those units, so... I'll just put another E60 on that service. Any other electric trains that I need to take out? Because they're starting to kind of showcase their age if I look properly. No. I don't think there is any more electric trains that I have to replace. But at the same time... What about my tr Oh yeah, I already upgraded my trolleys. What about my bus networks? How are they? How are those buses doing? Not my manager. Let's see. Bus services. They're still doing alright, I guess, but I think it's time for a full-on replacement of these old buses. I 
think all these buses that are currently operating at this time. Let's see, passengers. The new Flyer D40 will probably be the best bus to use. As for the intercity bus service, those are going to be still the scenic cruisers. Speaking of which, uh, let me see. Trucks. Hmm. These trucking convoys, A and B, are kind of showcasing their age. I mean, they're old buses, so they need replacement. Wait, why did I say buses? They're trucks. Hmm. The only suitable... These are the most modern buses I have. Why do I keep saying buses? They're the most modern trucks I have so far. Uh, it doesn't even showcase on when the... Oh, build date. Let's see. These Ford pep... One, these Ford pickups are basically the most modern, but... Uh, hmm. Let's see. 34 units to 40. I guess I'll keep using those buses, then. Uh, ships. I want to. They're still using. Sh what are, now about my airplanes? Hmm. Let's see. Passengers. There's the new Airbus A320. They only hold 74, but they're quite. But they're very good planes to use. So I'll just use these instead. One thing is for sure, I'll probably might need to re-establish a brand new connection track for this. Which will probably just consist of this switch. Which will make it a lot easier. And no need to use these double slip switches, I think. Yeah, that can, these can work. At least my trains won't have to slow down now. Although, they will still have to basically get up to this track on the return trip. I think. Yeah. Some of these trains are using this track. And then they're going to basically get down onto this line. Uh, let's see, what else? What else needs to be done at this time? Well, all of our services have been taken care of so far. No new vehicles have yet to appear on the scene. And our new track connections have finally allowed all these trains free movement. Like this commuter train can now easily head to Riverside without being delayed by these freight trains. Although... Hmm... I think I might have to start redesigning the main line of this. It's starting to become a little bit too hectic. So I'll probably might have to start by redesigning this area here. Which, in this case... I'll have to reconnect this... I'll have to basically start by removing these tracks here. I know it's counterproductive, but if I want to build a more efficient mainline operation, because most of these trains are trying to basically keep up to time, despite the fact that many of these vehicles are starting to struggle because there's so much traffic going on at one time. As a result, I'm building this special four-way mainline track. Construction not possible? What? You have got to be kidding. Uh, I 
guess I'll probably might have to reestablish the four main main line as something else. As well as getting as well as heading this track here as well that leads onto the balloon loop. Well, it's not a balloon loop, but just a loop for trains to go over to avoid getting stuck in the main line. Once these tracks are demolished and everything else has been cleared, let's see what we can try to redesign with, with this area. Okay, let's see. Uh, We'll try doing it like this for now, but we'll have to redesign the signals for, the return for all the trains going up and down the main line. Then we'll have to do a connection to this section here, as just like the old, like the old way, like the old times, I guess. I don't know. I'm just saying this stuff. Uh, like that. Let's see. Well, a lot of the trains are going in the correct direction, but then I need to figure out how to get this. I'll need to start adding this back into place. Let's see, I think I might have to try it like this, I think. Do it like that. Do it like that. And then afterwards... Do a connection like this, and that should basically be it. We're also going to do this connection here. And also set up the new signaling system. Which, again, will be composing of these types of signals above the mainline track. Yeah, the freight trains will now use this track. Although some freight trains will have to basically avoid using this middle track for now. Hmm. It's a bit of a long stretch. But I think it's time to actually reposition the signaling along this entire line out of town. And also, to make sure that the all my freight trains get to their correct destinations. There we go. At least the livestock train will now go on a straight line instead. Well, not on a straight line, a track that actually has clearance. We'll also need to do this so we can access the main so this train can access the mainline track here. Remove the double slip switch. And remove these switches, I think, for now. And then I just need to do is another connection to the main line. Well, first I might as well place down these signals in this direction. Then we'll place down another double aspect signal here. Well, not a double aspect, a single aspect. Well, double aspect for the return train. Then add this and that. And then I just basically do something like that, and I think that might fix the problem. I'm not so sure, because there's going to be a lot of routes now that cannot be connected by rail. But yeah, a lot of the freight trains can now access the middle track to their destinations. Although I don't know why the trains are... Oh, right, these signals. i got to modify these as well. Okay, this way, that way, 
this way, that way. And that basically should be it, I think. I need to have a look. Ooh, that is a lot and a lot of work. Ugh. But for the sake of getting my comp getting everything done, I need to check. Let's see. This train is heading to... This train can only go in this direction for the trip up. <laughs> Let's see. Should that work? Yeah, it should work now. Uh... Let's see. War materials. This train's supposed to go on to... Let's see. Uh, I'll delete the signals for now. But let's see. It goes from the war materials plant. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because there's no switch that leads to that track section right there. That leads to the middle line. So, I'll do that. And do a quick That signal was not in a good spot. Do that, and that, that, and that. Oh, I gotta get rid of that signal. And that should basically do it. Now I have to restart the trains so they can get to their destinations. And that should basically do it. Now with the new tracks in place, all these trains can finally start making their runs again. As we have a look on this, all the tracks are basically in use and all the trains are going to be using all the tracks they have available to get to their destinations. And I think with that, we have reached the end of this episode. Where our new 4-track mainline is starting to show its improvements, and it's starting to basically... It's basically trying to showcase itself how good it is. Although, I think, if I delete this, can, the other, can all the freight trains that are going back use that route? They can, but they're also using this track. But... That might change later. And I think once this section of track has been completely removed, although I did waste a lot of money on this, I think we could basically finish off this episode. Now, if you had enjoyed this episode of the Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!